All right, so we're sitting out here waiting on our bus and we are headed to Disney Springs. Excited! Yay! We're out here at the Grand Floridian bus stop and we are going to the Springs. to the Polite Pig at Disney Springs today. We ate and we will insert video of that here. Anyway, so we want to, we did not, we forgot to film our review of the food. We had the butcher, what was it called? Tray. The butcher tray or butcher something for right. two. And it came with sausage, brisket, beef brisket, pork, chicken, and chicken. And we added ribs. And two sides and two pieces of cornbread. And you can add ribs or you can add turkey, right? Okay, so we added ribs. So anyway, and we also had a piece of buttermilk pie. But anyway, so going with the food, sausage was incredible. Uh, the brisket was awesome. And it was probably the best thing on the plate. It has a great rub. It's been cooked slow. We eat barbecue quite a bit, so we know, well, I'm not going to say like we're like number one at barbecue, no one at, but we know good bar, we know good barbecue. But anyway, the pork was good and the chicken was good, the, but undoubtedly the best thing on the plate was the brisket. The cornbread, the, was, good. The cornbread was really good. It was different also. I don't know what was in there that was like corn. It almost tasted like it had honey or something in it because they were kind of sweet. But it wasn't like your normal like jiffy sweet cornbread. But anyway, so the ribs were not the best ribs I've ever had. Good flavor, a little rough. Great oh. flavor. They had a great flavor, but they were not fall off the bone. They could have been cooked longer. I don't know. I don't know if it, because usually even when it's that cut we've ever had before, they still fall off the bone. So, I mean, 
you know, you can take it or leave it. I don't know that if you wanted to add the ribs, it was $6 and it was to add ribs and it was four, right? Four ribs that we added. And then our side, you got coleslaw also, and then you got the two sides. We had the French fries and the potato salad. The coleslaw was good. It was not like traditional coleslaw. So if you're not a huge fan of coleslaw, you might not like that coleslaw. Or if you, you know, like one of my kids eats it, one does not, absolutely does not. The potato the, salad the, was good. The potato salad was not like usual potato salad, but it was very good. Very, very good. I really enjoyed the potato salad. It was, had a little bit of a vinegar base to it, and it was like the red new potatoes with mayonnaise, and it was really, very really refreshing. good. Yes, very refreshing. But then, we had a Gideon's Bakehouse chocolate chip cookie. And we will insert photo now. But, let's talk about the cookie, Donnie. Cookie let's talk about the Gideon's Bakehouse chocolate cookie chip cookie. The cookie is worth the wait. They get them two times a day, and they only get like... 15 to 20. Yeah, 15 to 20 of them. And only one person, one cookie per person you can buy. So, we, the lady told us, because we asked, and she was like, we've already sold out from this morning, but if you come back at 4 o'clock, we get, that's when we get our second batch. But if you come, you need to be here at like 3.50. So we were on our way back out and it was like 350-ish, 345, 348. And he's like, oh, we got to get a cookie. We got to get We go in there, honey, there's already a line for the cookies. And we were like number 10 and number 11 in line. So there was like a few more people that come running in there behind us. And by the time they got in there, they were sold out. But if you can get it and you can wait, it is definitely, it's a half a pound. Yes. It is thick, it is huge, and it is about this thick. And, well, you can see the picture of it, but it is good, and it is easily shareable with two or three people. And maybe we, even four. And we tried all four of the sauces. What did you think of the sauces? The barbecue ranch was good, the gold was very good. They had a peppery one that was not bad, and then a kind of a thick molasses one. Which that one was, was your bad. favorite? The gold and the ranch barbecue. Mm -hmm. I mean, I thought they were okay, but I thought like the ranch one I thought was pretty okay, and the gold one, I, the gold and the thick molasses one I think were my favorite because it was the molasses one obviously was more like barbecue, but. Anyway, if you get the opportunity to eat there, it's very good. I mean, for it to be like a quick service barbecue place, it is not like the barbecue anywhere in Disney. It's not like the barbecue at the Whispering Canyon, and it's not like the barbecue that they have in um, Diamond Horseshoe. Remember when we had Diamond Horseshoe? About $37. Mm -hmm. Third, you know, I think it was $39. You don't have leftovers. Oh, yeah. The two of us. And then, I mean, it was for two people, but really three, maybe even four could eat off of it, depending on how much your family eats. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I didn't talk about the chest pie. <laughs> chest pie okay because I am from the south honey obviously with this accent so chest pie is something we know all about in the south and I don't remember how much it was seven dollars but it was good but it was not great it was not that like a lot of people rave about it I know like Disney food blog talks about how good it is or like you need to try it I would I mean, unless you just feel like you have to try it, it would not. I wouldn't. I would either try to get the cookie or maybe try to go somewhere else in Disney Springs and get a sweet treat. I did. I mean, to me, 
it was not the best buttermilk chest pie I've ever had. And one so, of our daughters got a red velvet cake and it was... I did not have a bite of that. It was okay. It wasn't the best red velvet cake I've ever wrote home about, but it was good. Yeah. I did not... Um, would you say it was as good as the red velvet cupcake at Sprinkles? No. It wasn't as good as red velvet cupcake. Mm-hmm. So if you're like in cake mode, go to Sprinkles. I wouldn't spend the money there. I mean, that's just my opinion. But like I said, I just was not impressed with the buttermilk uh, chest pie. It was good, it was okay, but it was not like slap your mama good, okay? So anyway, with that being said, that was our review of the Polite Pig and we were excited to eat there. This is our first time eating there and it is actually owned by um, some people that have other barbecue places and restaurants in Orlando but and they've like won all kind of awards so I mean really and truly the food overall like on a scale of 1 to 10 10 out of 10 do recommend it is you know worth trying so anyway that's our review thanks